time and I've been counting so many sleeps to like <laughs> start, get my flight. It's a dream come true for Joe Reed from Saskatoon on her 90th birthday, a chance to hop on a Tiger Moth biplane for the first time in decades. And she's not nervous. Only have to die once, so why be afraid? <laughs> At 90? Come on. I don't want to get too crazy with you, but... <laughs> Joe Reed's brother used to give her rides in a Tiger Moth in the 1940s. He was a pilot in the Royal Air Force during the Second World War. After that, he'd sometimes take her on flights that were like roller coaster rides. And it was just magical. It was wonderful. It, you know, open cockpit and uh, the wind rushing by and then he'd do aerobatics to see if it could get me to scream. But I didn't scream for him, so it wasn't much fun for him. Can you hear me, Joe? I sure can. Perfect. So how long has it been since you're in a Tiger Moth? Uh, I was there when I was 18 and I'm 90 now. Well, that's a few years ago, so we're gonna yeah. go have some fun if that works for you. Okay. Pilot Dale Tiedemann couldn't promise Reed any loops or aerobatic maneuvers, but he takes her from the grass like the old days. And is this the birthday flight? This is so. Can she hear me? She can so. Happy birthday to you. Have a great time. How'd you like that, Joe? Thank you. There you go. It's a dream come true. I, I never thought you know, that I'd have a chance to do it again. Reed's niece, Anne Frost, organized this flight. Her father is the one who used to fly Reed all those years ago. Frost came from Ontario for this very special day. Oh, I was pretty sure she'd be fine, but uh, she I can see even under the mask that she's smiling like an idiot. So this is going to go on all day and that makes me pleased, yeah. Pilot Dale Tiedemann flew Reed all over the city and got her back on the ground safe and sound. No, it was just wonderful. And he he didn't do any aerobatics, but he tipped me off a few times. It was awesome. She uh, she did great. Like I say, uh, didn't didn't have any nervousness, and uh, she's like a natural in there. It was awesome. I don't I didn't hear her scream, but I saw her flinch pretty good a couple of times there. So I think I think we got her attention anyway. Now she can check flying in a tiger moth plane off her to do list. But Joe Reed says she has more adventures left in life. Teresa Kleem, CBC Saskatoon.